Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday, April 22nd, and it's also Earth Day. So I hope you all make some time to get out and enjoy the outdoors today. Um, I'm Jen Stone from Source, and I'm going to give you a quick orientation of the webinar tool before I introduce our guest today. Uh, you're muted automatically, but that doesn't mean that we want to be the only ones doing the talking. You all have access to the live chat where you can send a message or questions to the whole group. Uh, if you have trouble with the audio or viewing the presentation, feel free to check the box to send privately. Um, you can test out the chat now by dropping in your favorite emoji. Hey, everyone. <laughs> um, or let us know what you're snacking on. Feel free to chat in questions during the presentation at any time. If we don't answer in real time, we'll make sure to cover it during our Q&A time at the end of the presentation. Um, you can also adjust the ratio of the video to slides by dragging the black slider underneath the speaker video. Um, also, the recording of this webinar will be sent to you after we wrap up the live event. So if you miss anything or if you want to share it with a friend, you'll be able to do that. All right. So now I'd like to introduce today's guest, um, Hannah Tiffany from Stone Drew Ash and Jones. Hey there. She's the rep for Washington, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, and Alaska. Um, she's going to be showing us Sloan sensor faucets today. Hey, Hannah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I am so excited to be here. And my snack today is some roasted peanuts um, from the grocery store. You all are lucky that I don't have a can of sardines because my pantry is starting to get very, very bare. Um, so thank you for joining me. I'm very excited to talk to you about some faucets. Um, plumbing is exciting. And I rep, um, I have Sloan and I have about half a dozen other plumbing lines, plumbing manufacturers, and I geek out about it. So we'll just jump right into it. That first slide that you're looking at, um, those are my two cats. Dexter's the black one, and um, I'm pretty sure that he's had coronavirus and has now recovered, so he's got the antibodies. Oh. And the, the, <laughs> it's true, I, I think he did get it. Um, the other one is Gibbs, and he thinks that he owns everything the light touches, and he has jumped off of that balcony more than once. So <laughs> they're, they're adorable. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, I'm a Virginia Tech grad. If you probably can't see it, there it is behind me. I've got my little hokey blanket uh, for my nap times. So let's get to it. Okay, Sloan. Um, whether or not you're familiar with Sloan, they do uh, commercial restroom fixtures, faucets, flushometers, all the really fun stuff, right? But the, what I wanted to bring to us today is our sensor faucets. Um, I think when we come out of this, or maybe even before we come out of this, um, those sensor faucets are going to be essential part of commercial restroom design from here on out. Like how the less things that we have to touch, the better, and we're gonna be more aware of that. So Sloan has um, basically a good, better, best arrangement, and that's what we're looking at here. No judging, yes, absolutely. Oh my God, I love Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what we're looking at here, the good, better, best of Sloan's offerings, Basis is their best, Optima is the good, and uh, Sloan, or Optima is the better, and Sloan is the good. All of these faucets are available to be battery powered or hardwired. And the basis and Optima can also be um, solar powered, which will extend the battery life, and hydro powered, which honestly, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it also extends the battery life. So when we're talking about um, sustainability, energy use, those are fantastic options. I'm gonna jump us quickly to our next slide. What we're looking at here is um, an exploded diagram of that basis faucet. This thing is amazing. Um, again, going back to the, like, not only does it look gorgeous when we're talking about a public restroom and you don't have to have some ugly faucet. Um, I mean, from a designer's perspective, this is just fabulous. And then when you're talking to your plumbers and your building maintenance people, this basis faucet can be maintained. The batteries can be changed out from the top. Your guys aren't going to have to be on their hands and knees upside down under the faucets to switch out the batteries or any of the Wi-Fi. 
And to top it all off, both the basis collection and that Optima, which is the better option, have coordinating soap dispensers, and the basis has a coordinating hand dryer all in the same collection. Just fantastic stuff. Um, and the P.S. de Resistance, what makes it even more awesome is our finishes. Sloan is the only commercial restroom faucet manufacturer that offers more than chrome in their PVD finish in their collection, their finished collection. I'm so used to clicking through webinars. I'm using my keyboard instead of my mouse. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they offer five finishes. And we have um, both as part of this, I can send them to you guys later, or um, we can go into it a little bit, the PDF catalogs for their finished collection. So that's a little bit of what you're looking at here on the slides. And the finishes they have is all PVD, like I mentioned, we've got graphite, which is the gorgeous black. I think I had that in our last slide, this guy right here on the right. And the brushed nickel. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm jumping back and forth on your slides again. <laughs> this one here is the brush nickel. Of course, the brush stainless, which just is a cooler tone where the brush nickel is so warm. And my personal favorite, the polished brass. I mean, who doesn't want brass in their bathroom? That Especially if it's in their work. <laughs> and you all have, uh, there should be links down um, to those PDF catalogs down by the chat. So let me know if you don't see those, but they should be there for, for the whole, for all the attendees. Oh, Ren, I'm, I'm, I saw Ren's question about the fingerprints. Great question. For the fingerprints, the brushed nickel or the brushed stainless will be, you're not going to see fingerprints on that as much as, as as much as the polished finishes. Um, so that's that's the answer there if you're if you want something that doesn't show all of that stuff. And not only, so we've got that um, all the gorgeous finishes and I'm talking about faucets today, but Sloan um, is probably known more for its flushometer and they offer their flushometers. Oh, okay. Um, Sloan offers its flushometers also in all those finishes. So in this little slide, gorgeous little slide, you can see the toilet, the flushometer, and the faucet in that graphite color. Well, I just really blew through that, so. <laughs> Um, I would love to answer some questions or talk about the um, the attachments that we have are the full line faucet brochure, which um, goes a little more into depth about, oh, there we go, um, the basis, the Optima and the Sloan faucet offerings and what's available there, and also the special finishes brochure. So we've got um, all the information about those finishes and the collections that they are available in. Cool. And how do you install the touchless faucets? Is there any special tricks? Absolutely. Well, yes. No, that's a great question. So you would be, if you're specifying a touchless faucet, you're in one of two situations. You're either doing new build, in which case um, the best installation is to have it hardwired. So you'd be specifying that in the way that your electrician, your um, electrician, your mechanical engineer understand that they have to get the correct power to the fixtures. Um, and then if you're doing a remodel or a retrofit, depending on what's available, you would use the battery. And with the battery faucet, it really is no different than another faucet. You hook up the water supply um, and then you secure your faucet to your fixture. Boom, done. Um, all finished samples are, I can get you finished samples, yes. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading the chat box. I, I'm very much a multitasker, so. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so the, um, and the other neat thing about it, as far as the installation side, is battery operate, I'm sorry, I'm, I keep, I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> I'm going to say um, when it comes to the installation side of things, the Optima and the Basis 
faucets are also available with Wi-Fi connectivity. And that can be in a retrofit, retrofit situation, that's a module that can be installed underneath the sink. And it's just a little wire hookup, super simple. And it makes the, um, it makes the maintenance of the faucets so much easier because your building, yeah, your building maintenance people can just check the app to see if the batteries are low, if they need changing. They don't need to go faucet to faucet to test that out. The battery operated ones are the least expensive. So if you're looking at the, um, so if you're looking at, let's say the basis faucet and you have the option of doing just straight battery, um, a combination of battery and solar, which extends the battery life, the um, hardwired with the battery backup, or the turbine, which is that hydro powered one, the battery is the starter price point. Perfect. And are there any, um, Rana's also wondering, I don't know if you can go more in depth about, um, is there anything designers should know about putting them in their spec? Any special considerations that are commonly forgotten? Or That is a great question. Um, Oh, there's, it's just a long answer to the question. Um, the important thing to keep in mind is who's using the bathroom. How often is it going to be used? Is it a situation where like in an airport, you're getting a lot of constant use in the fixture or something like a, um, a stadium where you're getting a lot of usage all at once, but then a lot of times um, where nobody's using the faucet for extended periods. Can I sample the faucet? Um, I am not sure, but you know what? Let me take that back. Yeah, I can get you a I can get you a faucet sample if um, if it would if it's going to be helpful for you. I have to figure out how that would work with um, Corona. <laughs> um, can you? Uh, my contact information is here. Yes, I'm going to. Yeah. Yep. Here on the last slide. Yeah, we have all your contact info. Yeah, so you can email or call me and we can figure out how to get you um, a faucet sample that would be useful for you. I have a few in my office, even depending on what you're looking for, where you're located. Um, so we could either do that or we can get one from Sloan for you. Cool. And there's another question. Ren's wondering, um, why would you spec the hardwire ones when the battery ones sound so magic? <laughs> <laughs> in Ren's words. <laughs> Hardwire over, so in a new construction situation where you can run the power to the faucets, you're not using as many batteries. It's um, it's a lifetime cost thing because the lifetime cost of the batteries for the building will play into how much money they want to spend. So you might want to pay a little bit more so that you don't spend money on batteries, um, kind of like a printer and your ink. Um, the Or the other way would be, or the other reason would be, um, maintenance, right? If people aren't changing out the batteries as much, you're saving cost there too. Plumbing is so cool. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, and I just um, sent a link that you guys can click on to get to the Sloan brand page to our website. Um, you can find Hannah's contact info there as well. So yeah, so if there's any other questions, I'll give you all a moment to put those in. Um, just a reminder that a copy of this recording will be sent to you after we wrap up. Um, and also tomorrow we'll be hosting Ginny Combs with Wolf Gordon. Uh, you can go to our events page to, um, at tothesource.com to register for any upcoming source breaks and watch any of the archive videos there. Uh, let's see. Another question from the audience. What's the one thing you wish designers knew about special plumbing? Um, about specking plumbing or special plumbing? Spe I know, I'm specking okay. plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish, the one thing I wish designers knew more what the options were. Um, what I see a lot, and I have, uh, Sloan is my commercial line, and I have a lot of um, hospitality lines as well. And um, I think that what I found when I was a designer and also now is that there's a lot out there, and it's just really easy to go to the one that you know. And sometimes it takes a lot of work to dig and find what's really best for a specific situation or specific design. Yeah, 
Um, but that's what I'm here for. So that's that's how I'm a resource. And that's what Source is here for too. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that's it. Um, thank you so much, Hannah, for joining us. This is really great. Um, all right. I'm super happy to be here and I look forward to getting you all samples. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Happy snacking. Enjoy your day. Happy Earth Day. <laughs> Take care. Bye.